Oh, so I thought I'd make a video on this. I've done a short, but we'll do a more explained video. Um, I'm just outside doing the valve adjustment on a Benelli TNT125, yeah? That's the timing mark on the flywheel you should be looking for. And obviously, same again, you go down, and that would match up with your sprocket at the top, yeah? That timing mark that they pr put here is not actually on the flywheel. Well, it is, but it isn't. This specific icon that shows you here does not exist on the Benelli TNT125 flywheel. Where they got this image from and whatnot is absolute, just a mystery, I don't know. But this is bollocks. This is just complete bollocks. If you actually go, I mean, what caused this is I've just been outside trying to adjust it. So you've got to line the engine up from top and bottom. And I could not find that icon because that's what I was looking for. I just couldn't find it. I could find others, but I could not find that icon. As many times as I span it. So I was like, right, okay, then the best way, I've actually got a way of finding out for sure if that mark is on there. Here's a drowned engine. Blend AT&T 125. It's the exact same engine that's outside. Exactly the same. So I was like, right, I'll take the left side off. We'll have a look and see what is on there. And the earmarks I found, I say, are exactly the same on here as the ones outside. Nothing compared to what's on that diagram. But if we go spinning it, you start off, let me just move that in there and bring that over there. And you start off and you've got the icons you see. I mean, let's go for them all. You've got, obviously, I'm guessing that's the brand that made it. Whatever that is, but that's just a brand mark. Whoever made it, I'm guessing it's not a timing mark. It's it's like a logo or something. But the mark you do have, the marks you do have, is this T1 here. See it? T1 with a line against it. This is the mark you would line up to the cut up up here. And an arrow. You've got T1 that. Again, let me just look. You've got a T and an arrow pointing away, like some kind of pencil pointing down. Uh, does that look the same to you? Because it, it just doesn't look... They don't match to me, which for me is enough to cause concern. You know, is that the right one, is that not? If you get this wrong, you can screw an engine. So this all needs to be correct. You need to know where you are on this. So let's keep spinning the engine in search of that apparent timing mark, shall we? Keep spinning, keep going. We've got another one here. It's, we've got T2 and a dash. No arrow. Once again. Do you see a match? Because I don't. Keep going back. We'll keep spinning the engine, shall we? Let's have some fun. So if anyone's curious, this engine was completely water destroyed. Here's the piston, but I'll split that later. Anyway, back to the Keep going. There's a T2. Keep going, keep going. Oh, we're back to T. What's that one? We're back to where we started. T1 with the dark and the mash. Um, with the mark and the dash. And the logo. From the whole spin, you get T2. You get T1. But there's no. I mean, let's do it slowly just to show I'm not going mad. It is not there. No, it's locked. There we go. Whatever. It's a dead engine. T2. Oh, that finally come out of that way. I think we a lot better. It's a lot easier now. Let's just try and spin the dead engine. Move the gasket. Yeah, keep going. T1. We've a dash there. Spin it all the way. As you can see, there's only them two marks. That mark that they put on there does not exist on the Benelli TNT125 flywheel. Maybe it does on older models or what, I don't know, but on the most modern ones, doesn't exist. Cool bollocks, so if anyone's trying to search for that, search for the T1 mark. And the proof that I have for this T1 is if we go round to it, T1, which is bad at the top, time mark. 
inspection is about here somewhere, not exactly. The piston, as you can see, is at its highest point, which is top dead center. So yeah, look for that mark. Because as you can see, it is from here it only goes down. That is the top of the top dead center. Yeah, I hope, hope that clears anything, any mysteries anyone may have when doing the engine valve adjustment. I've not seen this actually said in any of the videos. I've been watching all the videos, doing all the research for the job, and this is the one thing, naturally. I always end up finding one thing that just everyone misses out, and it's a key bit of information. With this information, I can now go back to the bike and do it properly. And actually know where this is, and... Instead of searching for some mysterious icon there that doesn't exist, I know exactly what to look for now. But yeah, to the next one. Only a short one, but to the next one. I would show videos of me doing this valve adjustment, but it's the first time me doing it on this engine. Well, I've done it once before, but conditions are cramped, conditions are wet. Well, not wet, but you know, conditions are cramped and whatnot, so I don't want to really do it out on the video. Once I've done it once and I'm a bit more confident with it, I'll do it. I'll actually record and show it, but that's the main bit of information. The rest is that you can all find the videos anyway, but till the next one.